Hello and welcome to Berlin. Um, we are now at 20 past 11. Yeah, we are a little bit tired. <laughs> Just working on it. Um, and we are at somewhere amazing called the Classic Remise, uh, which is in Berlin. And it is where we have had the launch party. And it is a party. It's a serious party, 100 guests, music, everything, um, for Soft 99. And the launch of the all new Fusso Wax. Yes. And I'm joined by none other here than Damien. And you uh, are running, uh, you are in charge of, first, well, of Soft 99, the empire, the whole of Europe, aren't you? Yeah, it's true. For European Union, except UK, we have to remember that uh, we've got the colleague who is uh, responsible for the UK market. Gotcha. Uh, but of course, we cooperate together, and uh, I'm sure that we've got the same goals. Yes, because yes. we represent. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, Jackie, I'm guessing. Yes, of course. Yeah, Jackie we'll Wong. Speak about ja yeah. Jackie Wong. Yeah. Um, uh, greeting for Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's a great man. He's uh, yeah. We've had communication because we've done articles in the past. Uh, we interviewed the CEO of uh, Soft 99 in Japan, in fact. Mr. Tanaka. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Tanaka, indeed. That was you, you know that the, the oldest uh, uh, woman in the world, uh, uh, she's also Miss Tanaka. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, and she is 116. Crikey. Yes. She still drive, I wonder. <laughs> we wish uh, our CEO also the <laughs> same age. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> but hang on, wouldn't you be next in the line for that job? Next job, or could you... Well, if, if, if he had to retire, wouldn't you be in charge after that? Would now you? I'm on the retire. <laughs> that is really, really, this is, this is my realization of my dream, yes? Now, nowadays I realize that I, I work in my uh, dreams from, uh, you know, young, uh, uh, youngest time, yeah? Mm -hmm. but, uh, I worked 10 years, more than 10 years in financial sector and real estate sector, uh, and uh, in... Uh, 2012, uh, I finished uh, work for a big corporation, uh, and now I'm happy because I'm entrepreneur. Yes, it's true. I I've got also autonomy, but I represent one of the biggest uh, uh, car carrying uh, firm uh, in the world. Yeah. It means uh, Sov 99 Corporation. Indeed, and this is something that a lot of people in the UK don't realize, and hell, I didn't realize um, until. Uh, we did an article on it and I did some research and it's something like 36, 35 million back pounds worth of company. It's a big, big company. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. This is uh, also my challenge. This is also my duty to, uh, to be more popularized, yes, because uh, uh, we, have to, we have to know that uh, nobody knows in Europe about SOC 99. We are not uh, so popular. Uh, we weren't so, not so popular a few years ago. Uh, I think um, uh, the best uh, uh, product, uh, which was the, 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 the first uh, uh, with uh, connections with the uh, bigger society, the b b big uh, potential, mm -hmm. was exactly Fuso Code. Yes. yes. Well, in, in the UK, there is uh, an enthusiast following for Fuso Code yeah. like no other product. Um, there are followers, and they're, they're, it's it's so popular among a group of people that they're known as the Fussoites and the, you know the soft 99ites, the people who just absolutely dig it, and they they love it. And we put the uh, King of Gloss and Fusso into a mega test, so we tested 25 waxes. Uh, we went to a company called Autoglim. Yeah, uh, and, of course. Yeah, good, good. And um, they've got a big uh, factory, and we went over there and we did in their laboratory we, lab lab call it a lab because I can't say the word laboratory properly. Uh, it always sounds like laboratory. And um, we did lots of scientific testing. We did gloss testing, uh, we did uh, angle, bead angle, and all sorts of other bits and bobs. And it was fascinating because the Fusso did exceptionally well in the first test that we were doing yeah. in terms yeah. of gloss uh, and bead angle. And then we looked at King of Gloss and thought, what's the point of King of Gloss? Because that's supposed to be a topper, isn't it, on top? And then we went to a company called Angel Wax in Scotland. Yeah. And we did some more lab testing, slightly different sort of lab, but it was interesting. We, we put um, a mild acidic and a strong acidic, a mild alkali and a strong alkali on, onto the uh, a wax coated surface and measured uh, the level of, of breakdown of the coating. And King of Gloss was really, really tough. It resisted it. And then we did uh, residual solids. So we put a certain weight, in fact, we took three samples of each, put them in an oven. Uh, got rid of all the solvents and then measured the residual hardness and the resi residual, not uh, residual hardness, residual solids yeah. to work out how much is actually in there. 
and I can't remember where it came, but it was it was it performed really really well. And I know because um, I also run a trade association in the UK, and there um, a lot of the guys who come across cars that are coated in in Fuso particularly, it can be a real pain if you have to take it off to do some paint correction. Yeah, it can be difficult to get off if you want to get it off. So, yeah, strong strong product. Um, we have been asked by one of our readers already because we've been posting these videos live on Facebook and stuff like that. Yes. Um, what is the difference between the old Fuso? and the new Fuso, and you've, ex well, it has been explained, but I thought here and now you might want to give it a quick, succinct definition of why it's better. Uh, I would like to back to, to uh, your start um, um, opinion and, uh, about, about the different waxes and about the king of gloss, not only Fuso. Uh, I would like to say that uh, for us, uh, uh, it was very important to say much more, not only about Fuso, because everybody knows Fuso. Yes, yes? and nowadays, uh, uh, when I've got contact with uh, enthusiasts, they have Fuso. Uh, when I go to the car wash, uh, they have Fuso. Yep. When I go to the detailing studio, they have also Fuso. Do you ever think yes. you've sold too much? Uh, no, 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 don't, <laughs> don't afraid. <laughs> I'm sure uh, we've got the deep, deep market and uh, we've got still big potential. But I want to say that uh, uh, Fuso uh, is, uh, is good, of course. Uh, I appreciate uh, this is amazing because this is the biggest difference uh, between uh, our competitors. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, Paul Shelton uh, from uh, headquarters yes. uh, tonight um, uh, described uh, many, many factors about it. Uh, yeah, he was what's drawing going on. I love it when we have diagrams, it's really exciting. Uh, ex We've got them on film as well, so don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll do cutscenes. Exactly, exactly. But I want to, I want to say that uh, uh, we should uh, uh, test more uh, also with the different waxes. Mm -hmm. uh, please give us opportunity to share with uh, our knowledge of the different waxes because uh, Japanese style is completely crazy for Europe. It, it is. It's bizarre, isn't it? I, when we interviewed um, Mr. Tanaka, um, his, his favourite cars were mostly British. Exactly. Which, which I was surprised at and I thought, hang on. Morgan. Um, yeah, Morgan. Three-wheelers. That's exactly it. Yeah, and you I remember. Be, even a normal Brit isn't particularly into the Morgan three-wheelers because they're terrified um, and not very fast, but they're just so exciting. But anyway, uh, and, and actually that brings on to another thing. You may have noticed we've stri there are lots of supercars here and I'm talking Ferraris, Lambos. I haven't seen a Koenigsegg yet, but I'm sure there'll be one here. Um, and I have strategically positioned us in front of some Aston Martins and when you first arrived the first thing you said was ha the Aston Martins etc etc you are an anglophile when it comes to autocars yeah yeah the Aston Martin is uh, the, the special place in my heart because uh, uh, I'm a happy owner of the one of the example uh, of course not like this one uh, but uh, I appreciate my reality and I'm, uh, I'm very happy uh, I've got the DB11 Volante uh, it's uh, cool and uh, I like it. Uh, I like British uh, automotive. Uh, uh, I know, uh, in, especially in Germany, uh, it's, it's difficult and it's dangerous to say that uh, um, a British automotive could be better uh, to, to German. Uh, it's got to a German engine in it though. It's got a Mercedes engine in it. Not in mine. Still, oh. still I've got the old one. Yes. Oh, is it a V12? In, in, in Vantage, uh, right. you've got the from Mercedes. The 4 litre turbo. Yes, yeah. GT, yes. My, I've got 4 litre, but this is uh, from uh, old version. Still, it's uh, okay. uh, a Euro engine. It's the AJ or something, isn't it? Exactly. It? Yes, indeed, which I think is loosely based on the Jaguar engine. Well, uh, yes, uh, it's, it's connected. Uh, yeah. uh, so, we, welcome to this conversation of two old men talking about Aston Martin engines. <laughs> so, um, I just want to briefly touch on coatings because the yeah. coatings market, and you have it down, I was really, really impressed, you've, you've done lots of talking today, um, and I've been listening very intently while running around changing memory cards and, and, and wondering if I've got enough batteries, um, and you ha showed that you have a good grip on the ceramic coating market as it is, yes. as in saturated market as in uh, questions about uh, whether you have to certify operators to do it, and also the importance of having different protection products, not necessarily all ceramic, for the different types of surfaces on a car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, I wanna know from you, from a UK point of view, obviously this isn't gonna involve jacking stuff, are you gonna bring out those ceramic coatings in the UK? This is a difficult question, uh, because- Well, it's uh, not, it's a yes or no, really. 
And also, I, 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 want, I, want, I, I want to be a diplomat. Uh, of, <laughs> of, of, of course, uh, my goal is uh, to, uh, to have also um, um, GZAX or Kyujutsu in mm -hmm. England, yes, because uh, um, I'm sure that the British market, uh, this is the mother of the, all the markets in Europe, especially. That's why uh, I'm sure that the British market uh, uh, is, for me, in my personal opinion, is the most important, yes, because it's opinionful and uh, I like it. Uh, uh, you know better what I mean, because you've got so many uh, professional uh, players. Uh, but uh, uh, when I back to discussion about the um, uh, coatings, uh, this is, uh, um, nowadays we've got big hype for coatings. Everybody wants to have coating, uh, but we have to remember for uh, responsibility, uh, responsibility mm -hmm. of uh, uh, applying the coating, about, uh, we have to remember about the recycling, and so on and so on. That's why this is also an uh, answer for your question about the certification, for example, yeah. yes? Uh, we would like to, 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 to sell in two steps. Uh, uh, like um, uh, selling like a, 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 a paid for car uh, you okay. know the, the first step is question could you send me uh, if you want to buy for example mm -hmm. my coating uh, you have to send me your ID Mm -hmm. uh, the best will be uh, your professional ID. Yes, yeah, so you and, do a background check on their company. And after that, I can uh, sell you my product because uh, I know that you know uh, what's going on after if you have something uh, inside your bottle because we have to be responsible. And I think when we think in longer term that we are responsible, I'm sure that uh, this is a good way to, to, uh, to improve, to, uh, to make a big progress step by step, of course. Yes. And, and this is also the, the best uh, school in uh, Japanese style, yes, mm -hmm. because uh, they are very patient. Uh, sometimes I'm waiting and I'm very nervous because I would like to have a new product and they say, Diamond, Please mm -hmm. wait, because we are testing, yes? A few months ago, I, I've been in Osaka, in factory, and, uh, and uh, yes, it was amazing. Maybe uh, not only in factory, but in R&D department. They have so many machines, and they, they are testing uh, all around uh, the same product. Uh, it, it takes long, long, but uh, I'm proud that uh, uh, we know what is it because uh, after that the, we, um, the, the products are also, uh, always is the same, yes? And I think this is the point uh, and this is the, the, the key to the success that, uh, uh, for example, Fuso uh, is never changing, yes? Mm -hmm. And if you ask me when we back to the Fuso, it's time to change Fuso. But this is not revolution, this is evolution. Yes, yes. Yeah, you this mentioned. is also answer for uh, chemical regulations. This is also uh, uh, more, um, um, uh, this is also a good, uh, uh, you know, solution for smell, for, for mm -hmm. comfortable walk. With Which this. is something actually the old Fuso wasn't, didn't smell particularly lovely because it was just a chemical, it does the job. Yeah. And from a looks point of view, it, it looked quite natural, should we say? I know it's a synthetic product, but it didn't look like there was lots of artificial color in that. Yeah. Um, and again, of course, you've got for so light and for so dark. That's a, another uh, quaint thing because, I mean, if you look at other wax producers, like, for example, Dodo Juice, they do waxes, what they call color charge waxes. So kind of an orangey one for your reds and your oranges, and then dark ones, they do Black Widow for dark. Yeah, colors. yeah. And, and I think it does, um, they actually did some research at some point. I know Dom, who, who runs it, was vehemently defensive of it because a lot of people say, oh, it's just marketing. Um, no, it's not it's only. Not. He did, he not did, only. They did spectral tests, and they found yeah, it was yeah. A and we explained uh, also this tonight. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you record uh, yes. this information. Uh, this is very important. Uh, this is uh, this is the difference between uh, sorry uh, small factories and uh, factory like uh, Soft 99 Corporation with bigger experience. Uh, they know what doesn't mean uh, different paints. Yes, uh, we have to remember that uh, uh, they have. Uh, um, long and uh, difficult story yeah? because after the second war they have no automotive mm. in the 50s. Yeah? Well they had to get the British girls, copy them and then do uh, it and then they realize how rubbish British girls were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, 
Exactly. <laughs> yes, and they started building their own. And then, of course, they took over the exactly. UK by building reliable cars. Exactly, exactly. And the special weather, the special climate, uh, uh, everything is connected. That's why uh, we can speak about it so long. Mm. And, uh, we can discuss, I think... Uh, um, but, to, but don't get me on Japanese cars, because Japan no. makes the best car, obviously, Subarus. Yeah. And, um, you know, so therefore they shouldn't know the most about cars. It's just that nobody else seems to agree with me, ever. I think you know um, uh, preferences of uh, of the cars. Uh, this is uh, very individual. It is, that, and it's, uh, it's my preference. Nobody else is just exactly, wrong. Exactly, yeah. ex uh, exactly. I want to say that uh, the most important is maintenance and responsible maintenance, mm -hmm. and that's why I, I cooperate with uh, Soft 99 Corporation. And of course, I would like to um, uh, to say how much I can about the maintenance, uh, about uh, improving uh, cleaning, not only, uh, you know, visit uh, our car wash to clean our car, but to know something more about uh, cleaning, about the uh, environment. So it's education of the uh, Educational, well. exactly. And uh, at the end, I would like to, to, to enhance that we've got not only waxes, yes? Uh, I know this is, uh, maybe this is more difficult to, to, to sell it in Europe, uh, shampoo or quick detailer, because uh, it's easy to produce in Europe and our transport via... Uh, it's going to add more money. It's it, like, to be honest, in, in the same a lot of UK producers trying to get to America, um, Americans like to supersize me, you know, on everything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. you know, we do nice little sort of British quaint little things like this and say, here's a little pot like that. And they go, boy, oh, that's too damn small. And they probably don't just say that, but, but, but that's the point is that they like it big. Um, and we have the same issue. So I totally understand where you're coming from. So in summary, yes, the new Fuso yes. is an evolution, evolution of the old Fuso. Exactly. Um, and it, it also, by the sounds of it, is going to be a little bit nice smelling, a little bit sort of, a, it's got a, a couple of refinements. New solvents, yes. New solvents. Uh, it's obviously, by the sounds of it, going to be complying with more laws and stuff like that so it's going to be safer to use yes and a uh, very important factor is that uh, the new packaging yes yes with uh, the symbols on of course this is uh, maybe this is the uh, this is a, a very important information for um, for partners for distributors because yeah. they complain uh, for for selling in europe because nowadays so we are one big village yes global village uh, well and, yeah for, uh, for a bit uh, uh, yes uh, parallel right. import this is the problem yeah. yes because uh, many uh, uh, distributors from uh, Kazakhstan, from China, from Hong Kong, they uh, they try to, to, to sell cheaper. Yeah. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, we we read, but not uh, uh, scan very um, uh, very precisely, and we we didn't know uh, we, we don't know that uh, um, uh, the travel takes three weeks, uh, and we want to buy because uh, we see one pound less. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we decide we will have. Uh, European version, it will be more transparent, it will be also helpful for us because you will have uh, more description and you yes. know information like you told me, education. This is a very important factor. Well, That's I have to, yeah, reading some of the instructions on the older, on the older Soft 99 products was hysterical but not very useful. <laughs> so, yes, but, yes, but, but uh, we have to find the balance. Uh, please understand that uh, still we want to uh, have the balance between European style but also Japanese style. Yes, yes? that's why we've got kanji, original kanji fuso, yeah? yeah. And uh, this is the compromise between uh, f uh, headquarters, it means factory in Japan, and uh, our style, European style. And so essentially, it's still sushi, but you, you can use a fork to eat it. Exactly. That's quite a nice analogy. I'm quite proud of myself at this time of night. Um, so um, that's, that's the new fuso, so it's an improvement. It's got CLP regulations, which I know are really, really important for resellers. I talk to resellers and they're saying, look, we are, when we're importing something, if it doesn't meet the CLP regs, then um, potentially, if for example it looks nice and pretty and a child gets a spoon and eats it and then dies, yes. it's terribly tragic obviously, unless it was a bad child, and um, then the reseller potentially could be the one going to prison. Um, or could be in trouble. So uh, I think that is a really important thing and it is important to also to note the safety. We have a lot of, you mentioned the black market coming in from China and stuff like that. We have a lot of coatings coming in under various brands that are available for five, 10 pounds for a 50 mil bottle of coating. Um, and we have had reports of sometimes uh, people getting respiratory issues and having streaming eyes when they're using it because you have no idea what's in it. Exactly, um, that's why we recommend uh, 
uh, good film, uh, sometimes uh, uh, up to you, this, uh, the market decides uh, uh, which product is uh, the best, which product is the, the, the most popular, yes. but, uh, uh, and we have to agree, always the market uh, uh, has the right, yes, yeah. but uh, that's why we, we Still, we we know nothing about the um, response of the new Kyujutsu line. Yes, mm. uh, I would like to share with you that uh, Kyujutsu. This is uh, demand of the market. Yeah, because uh, we had Gizax and still we've got Gizax. But if you uh, want to have Gizax, uh, uh, you can have it only service because Gizax is only for professional. And if you want to uh, have um, uh, GZAX, you have to go to uh, um, uh, official um, accredited uh, detail, and that's the same with a lot of coatings companies. To be honest, if you, if you yeah, look yeah, at but uh, this is the difference. But that uh, uh, in Europe, in, in, in Europe, um, many detailers, many uh, detailing studio uh, studios, they, uh, they 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 have some preferences. And of course, everybody uh, likes uh, something new. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why we test it. And uh, sometimes we've got some habits, and uh, uh, we've got, for example, the favorite uh, product for glass. Yes, mm -hmm. and we don't want to apply nothing different like our. Yes, uh, I can say truly about the um, uh, example like a colinite. Yes, this yes, colinite is the, yeah, yeah. the best example in the past. Uh, I think it was the most uh, popular product for uh, d with durability yeah? Yeah. and nowadays I hope so that our results uh, uh, are not uh, not too bad maybe similar like colinite yeah. because w we work very strong and uh, we, uh, we we produce so many materials uh, yeah. we educate well in our testing actually uh, I can say that from a durability point of view that both soft uh, that Fuso and King gloss both beat on, on our particular sort of test yeah uh, in terms of that yeah of course the, because uh, when we uh, when we start discussion about the uh, details like ingredients it's completely different but yeah. I want to say about the uh, um, um, uh, vision of the market yes uh, about the uh, you know habit of the uh, behavior of our uh, clients yes mm. because uh, at the end of the day the most important is our client yes, yes. and uh, I want to when I back to, 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 to my topic sorry for digression <laughs> I want. I, I wanted to say that uh, we 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 had we had to prepare a new coating line because uh, in Europe uh, we've got so many uh, detaining studio and uh, which has. Uh, uh, for example, for glasses, something from G Technic, from uh, wheels, uh, from uh, Carpro, yeah. and uh, for, for, for paints. Uh, and that's the detailer's prerogative, isn't it? And, and exactly. I've seen it, I know exactly what you mean. When a new product comes out, it boosts up as long as your market department's doing exactly. it right, and I'm sure Mikhail will do a good job, and it go up. And then um, some products will just tail off and disappear, some will then sustain, then you've got some like Colonite, which just yeah. stick. And Colonite's a solid, reliable product, and people yeah. stick with it for that yeah. reason. And yeah, so it's still an open market, even if it is saturated. Yeah. Um, to close, I just wanted to bring up one statistic which was fascinating. In Japan, and, and these are the figures I'm, I'm quoting, unless my memory is completely do lally, 80% of new cars are ceramic coated when they're new. Yes. Not necessarily by the factory, but by the selling. It's dealer. amazing. It's amazing. But 80%. when, but when we back to Aston, uh, my Aston has 300 uh, microns uh, paint. Yeah. Uh, uh, paint. Uh, in Japan, you've got 100. I was about to say 300 is good, and if you go for a Rolls Royce, it's about 600. That's so, why. That's yeah. why. Of course, we can speak also about the um, uh, magic because this is uh, uh, handmade, but this is not a very modern factory. Mm. Uh, I don't want to say any oh, bad information, modern. but you know what I mean. I know exactly. What you mean. Uh, I, I would like to to to, to say that uh, uh, in Japan they have thick pants and they need uh, coating. Mm. I'm sure that uh, uh, we've got also increasing market and our market is uh, growing so so fast. Uh, in Poland, for example, uh, we see so many new competitors. Uh, for me, this is good information, yes, because uh, this is potential uh, for us, but uh, this is also the threat because we have to remember that if appear new players, uh, we've got the risk with uh, quality. Yeah? Yeah.
No, I agree. Because sometimes uh, you want to have only much more money, not only the quality. Yes. Yeah. And that's why this is the most important, the quality. And uh, that's why I appreciate your service. Mm. Uh, no, it it means one. British service and um, uh, I, I would like to, 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 greet, uh, to greet, for example, Topaz near the London. <laughs> yes. They are professional very famous, very famous. and uh, yes, a few years ago I, know nothing, uh, I, I knew nothing about the coatings, but I met them and it was inspiration. Yes, no, but it's interesting. This is my personal... Yeah, personal feeling. No, I, I, I totally understand. And the, um, it was interesting because in Japan, for example, you don't, they don't put salt on the roads and so the cars aren't under seal. So when you get a, a JDM car, a Jap import exactly. car, um, they rust to hell unless you wax oil underneath them. And it's the same deal, obviously, with the thinner paint. So that makes sense. But in the UK, if we could get to a point where 80% of new cars get ceramic coating, um, well, uh, the detailers will have, have mansions and be millionaires by the sounds of it. They'll be able to get an Aston Martin of their own because that would be really good. And you're saying that in Japan, 60% of all cars on the road in Japan are already ceramic coated. I think, you know, this is also connected with, uh, um, um, with the Japanese culture. Uh, when we uh, compare um, um, Europe in style and uh, Japanese style, it's completely different, yes? yes? We have to remember about the uh, cleaning, a uh, human uh, being, yes, yes. Uh, uh, sorry for comparing, but uh, for, that, in my mind uh, uh, I would like to, 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 to show you um, um, about the toilet, for example. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, you remember, um, uh, maybe um, uh, the toilet from Japan, they, they have uh, oh, yes. so, so many machines, automatic and I, so I, I, I've, 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 I have... Um, rested briefly upon a throne of the such you described, not in Japan unfortunately, never been there. And it's terrifying, you're not expecting anything and then suddenly... <laughs> yes, exactly. Last time I've been uh, uh, in London in Shangri-La right. and uh, I, I felt the same, yes, <laughs> because they have the same. <laughs> yes, it's funny. In cubicles, because you hear this. Yeah, but, oh. <laughs> but when we back to, 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 to the yes. point and when we uh, speak uh, um, about, um, uh, about the behaviors, uh, yes, uh, uh, cleaning for them is very important and uh, uh, that's why I think the car carrying maintenance is completely different. Yes, mm -hmm. We see everywhere tissue, we see so many times uh, masks. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I think uh, uh, nowadays we have to observe uh, uh, Asian style and um, smart people from Europe they know about it. Yeah, well, it's, as we have to learn. Of course, we sometimes we feel that we are from Europe. That's why this is old continent and we know better. But yeah, I'm sure that uh, this is dangerous thinking. We have to know that uh, we have to observe and we have to be. It, 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 we're, we're very much globalised, aren't we now? And it's a matter of cross-fertilisation from all around the place. I mean, even the Americans come up with the odd invention. I mean, exactly. most of them, they borrow from the Brits and then chuck lots of money into it and make it really good. But yeah, I, I agree with you. So they're all inventing and we need to pick the best bits from around the place and, and involve it. Anyhow, I have delayed you. I know you have many guests who are desperate to talk exactly. to you. There are literally queues of people just behind the camera. And um, it is now <laughs> 10 to midnight, my plane leaves in three hours, no, four hours, and um, so I must bid you farewell. But thank you so much, Damien. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very appreciated that oh. you visit us and we can sit here and we can discuss about the automotive, about the car carrying. And, oh, we, we could sit for ages, but maintenance. I've only got 400 gigabytes worth of memory sticks. So. <laughs> If you want to uh, visit us also in Poland, uh, I invite oh, you. I'd, oh, well, that'd be absolutely brilliant. We, we, do, we did a European tour of Germany, Holland and Belgium. In so last year. I'm waiting so, for you. Yeah, no, that'd be brilliant. And also Japan. At some point. Of course, why not? Go in your Aston Martin. <laughs> brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you very much.